So today we are going to develop an iterative formula for uh, Gaussian random variables, the moments, uh, iterative formula for the moments. So I'm going to start with the a random variable x, uh, which is normal with mean mu and variance sigma squared. And I'm going to show that the nth moment can be expressed through this iterative relation. This is what we are going to derive. So I believe this is, at least I haven't seen this formula, but uh, anyway, we will derive this. So since x is Gaussian, I'm going to start with the characteristic function of a Gaussian random variable. So that's going to be e raised to j mu omega minus half sigma squared omega squared. Uh, so this is what uh, you need to start with. So we can derive this. this is a standard expression in lots of books. Uh, so then we and we will use the formula that the uh, uh, the nth moment for any random variable, of course, is given by the one over j n, the characteristic functions nth derivative evaluated at zero. So we need to develop the derivative. So starting with here, if I do the first derivative, so it's going to be derivative of this function. So that by just by inspection, that's j mu minus sigma squared omega multiplied by the function, which I'm going to write it as phi x of omega. So let me do this couple more times, then you will see how this is coming up. So the second derivative is going to be <coughs> We'll do it by parts. The derivative of this, which is minus sigma squared phi x of omega, uh, plus uh, this part multiplied by the derivative of this. So that's going to be j omega minus sigma squared omega multiplied by the derivative of this. So let me do the third derivative. So the third is going to be uh, the derivative of this, which is minus sigma squared phi prime. And then when I do the derivative of this part, I also see a minus sigma squared phi prime. So this is minus 2 sigma squared uh, phi x prime omega. And I already did the derivative of this. So then it's just the this part multiplied by the derivative of the last uh, uh, derivative of this term, which is going to be the second derivative now. So we can see from here how this is developing. So if I make a a leap of faith and I jump in, uh, you can see that this is uh, of this form. So let me write down, then we'll see whether this is true or not. Plus j omega minus sigma squared omega multiplied by n minus 1. So notice that the nth derivative uh, depends on n minus 2 and n minus 1. So the question is, is this true? So the proof is by induction. So that means so let's start taking the derivative of this once more. So that's going to be phi n plus 1. That's going. This is a constant, so this will become n minus 1. But notice that when you do the derivative here by parts, you also get minus sigma squared n minus 1. So n minus 1 becomes n. So minus n sigma squared phi x n minus 1 omega plus the term and the derivative of the last segment. This is going to be phi x of n omega. In other words, if this is true, then this is true. Uh, and uh, then uh, obviously, <coughs> uh, so th this proves the claim that this is indeed the uh, function or indeed the formula for the connecting the derivatives of the Gaussian characteristic function. So now we can simply use this formula. This is going to be, so the nth derivative, which is 1 over j n. So I'm going to plug it in here. When I put omega equal to 0, this term is gone. Minus 1, I'm going to write as j squared. So I have 1 over j n minus 1 and uh, on this expression. So that's going to be n minus 1 sigma squared phi x uh, n minus 2 0 
plus here omega equal to 0. So, it is j mu. So, remember we are dividing by j n. So, that becomes j n minus 1. So, plus mu 1 over j n minus 1 phi x n minus 1 0. But this is, uh, so if I put the j <coughs> n minus 1 here, uh, this is simply uh, expected value of x n minus 2 and here I have uh, n minus 1 sigma squared and here I have expected value of x n minus 1 and this is of course expected value of x n. So, this is the formula we wanted to develop. So, this is uh, so this is what we were after. Now, we can take some special cases. So, if I put expected value of x to be mu and uh, expected then expected value of x squared, you can see it from here because this is going to be mu squared plus uh, sigma squared n is 2. So, 2 minus 1 is sigma squared this is 1 because in uh, expected value of x to the power 0 that is 1. So, this is mu squared plus sigma squared. Then we can use this to get uh, all the higher order moments. So, expected value of x cubed for example is from here n is 3, 3 minus 1 2 sigma squared. Uh, expected this is uh, mu expected value of x plus mu multiplied by uh, x expected value of x squared which is here mu squared plus sigma squared. So, if you expand this we are going to get uh, uh, 3 mu uh, we are going to get uh, mu cubed uh, plus 3 mu sigma, uh, sigma squared and expected value of x4 and so on. So, expected value of x4 is for example, 3 multiplied by expected value of x squared which is mu squared plus sigma squared plus mu multiplied by x cube which is mu cube plus 3 mu sigma squared. So, that I believe if you do this you get uh, mu cubed plus uh, I guess there is a sigma squared here. <coughs> so, 3 mu squared sigma squared plus 3. So, 6 mu squared sigma squared and uh, this is just a mu. 6 mu squared sigma squared plus the last term which is uh, 3 sigma 4 etcetera. And notice that if you going back here if the random variable happens to be 0 mean then this term will be gone and so forth. When no x is normal with mean 0 and variance sigma squared you get the iteration x to the power 2 n only. So, all the odd moments are 0 because uh, when x is odd so, this term is gone and when x is odd this is going to be odd again. So, all the odd moments are 0 and the even moments are going to be uh, from here 2 n minus 1 multiplied by expected value of 2 n minus 3 etcetera. So, that is another iteration. And uh, so, in summary you have uh, this formula uh, for the an iterative formula involving two terms for the nth moment of uh, Gaussian random variables. <coughs>